Hi, gang. Let me be sweet and silence my cell phone because I'm not my parents. Um, this is purely experimental, but something I'm going to try to do to help you guys out. Go ahead and snap up a screenshot. Boop, boop. Screenshot. Snack. Roll a topic. Those of you that uh, had me last year, uh, this was something we did as sort of an icebreaker. If you were paying close attention to all of the stuff that I've been posting on Google Classroom today, um, one of the things that I said is that you're going to need to prepare a kind of a get to know you video like I've done of um, like I did for the open house thing that you will need to do so that I can get to know you and everybody's going to have to do it and I'm not going to show it to the class or turn it into America's Funniest Home Videos or anything like that. It's just a way for me to get to know you. These are different times and, and normally um, building relationships is my specialty and that sort of stuff, but it's going to be very difficult because we're um, not going to be here. Uh, we will be kind of uh, on the line, so to speak. So the thing that I did last year was uh, called Roll a Topic, and we threw it down on the table, and everybody kind of had to take turns, and you talked amongst yourself. Whoever had the best answer kind of um, per table kind of kind of did their thing, and then I let you guess what you thought my answers were to that. We're going to switch it up a little bit, and what we're going to do is um, I want you to make a video using this sort of thing, uh, three, four, five minutes, and I'll give you a, a, a format uh, or, or an application to use and whatever app we're going to try to use for, for your videos and stuff um, to kind of give you some guidelines on that. But basically, I want you to um, be able to tell me a little bit about yourself and get to know you, as I said, and use that as a basis if you want to. And I'm going to do that um, myself as I'm trying to figure out uh, what technology I'm going to use to be able to communicate with you guys. We'll obviously have Google Meets and stuff like that where everybody will be on at the same time, but I'll also need to shoot some videos. And the one that I used for last year has now changed and it's a maximum of five minutes and I talk more than that. So that won't work. Um, so this experiment is me basically saying uh, this is a way that you can put together a kind of a get to know me sort of thing. Um, as I said, these, these are the, uh, the topics, favorite movie, favorite snack, don't be gross. Uh, favorite book, favorite animal, uh, favorite school subject, and favorite color, which is kind of lame, but it is what it is. Um, so I don't have any dice or die here to roll, so I'll just kind of kind of do this. I introduce myself on my video and say, hi, I'm uh, Brian Foster. I'm really excited for this class. I'm excited to learn about how the government works and economics and things like that. Um, my favorite movie of all time is um, inappropriate for uh, teenagers, but it's called Animal House, and it's about a bunch of dumb guys in college who live in a fraternity house um, that looks a lot like some of the stuff we've seen on the news of people spreading the coronavirus lately. Um, but I saw it when I was young and inappropriately, but it was uh, really funny to me and um, showed you just how dumb college kids could be. Um, favorite snack? Probably something chocolate. My favorite candy, of course, is Nerds um, because I'm a cannibal. Um, but uh, yeah, snack-wise would be be chocolate, something like that. Big fan of Cheez-Its. Um, not as much Goldfish, but uh, Cheez-Its I, I do like. Chips, salsa, that kind of stuff. Favorite book is one of the saddest books that you'll ever see ever. Uh, it's called The Prince of Tides. Um, for somebody who's incredibly happy like I am, it's weird that a lot of my favorite music and books are really sad, but that's just how it is because um, I'm in touch with my sensitive side. Um, favorite animal. I think my joke last year was that my favorite animal was a liger. Uh, and then there was one time when I said my favorite animal was a honey badger because there was that uh, dirty saying going around about honey badger. Well, he don't, he don't care. Um, but I don't really have a favorite animal because I've never really thought about it. Although the um, state bird of North Carolina is a cardinal. I do know that. Um, favorite school subject. Weirdly enough, when I think about when I was in high school, my favorite subject, I, AP government, was probably one of my favorite classes because I had a, a man by the name of Mr. Jim Curran, who's my mentor. And, and um, we weren't allowed to argue like you see on cable news networks now. We were allowed to to debate, not in the same sort of structured thing that we'll do for our class sometimes of an actual debate, but we were allowed to discuss topics and you had to be respectful and that sort of thing. And um, strangely enough, 
some of the very same people who were in that class are still some very good friends of mine to today. And, and we still don't see eye to eye politically, but we're still really good friends. So uh, going on 30 plus years, that's, that's a pretty impressive thing. Um, favorite color uh, growing up was blue. My mom always bought me blue shirts. Uh, and since I didn't buy my own clothes, I had a whole bunch of blue shirts. Um, my eyes are a devastating shade of blue. It's kind of hard to tell on the computer. Um, but the older I get, the more faded out they get because I'm probably also going to be losing hair as well. So, um, but that's the sort of stuff that I want to see from y'all's video, just to, you know, make it easy and give you something to do. We're going to ease in the next week. We're not going to be crazy about it. Uh, I've got some stuff for you to do. The expectations are going to be high as far as, uh, output on work, but figuring it out, we're going to, we're going to be patient with each other and with the technology and those sorts of things. So this is just a little thing that I'm going to test out to see if it's even working. If you're so bored that you watch through the whole thing, I appreciate it. But if not, my feelings probably won't be hurt as long as you don't tell me. But if you do, they probably will.